Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we will learn to develop a robust Selenium Python framework in minutes using the GitHub Copilot and Visual Studio Code. So let's begin. GitHub Copilot is basically an AI editor for everyone and this is available for the free. So basically you will be having a copilot within the VS Code and you will be writing your prompt to generate the framework. For this particular tutorial I will be using an example of OrangeRM demo website and it has other login functionality okay now let's go to the vs code over here and here first we need to do is that we need to go to the extensions here and here you need to search for github copilot and this is the one your ai pair programmer and if i click on this one so you will find the details about this one. So your AI programmer tool that helps you to write code faster and smarter. You need to sign up for the GitHub Copilot for free, right? Just simply click on install on this one. It will install on your VS Code. Once it will be installed, we will be using this one and create the framework. Now what we need to do is that once we have this one, you will see this icon over here on the right bottom sign in to use the copilot and just click on this one and we need to sign in to use the copilot for free so here if you click on this drop down so you can sign in with the github account you can sign in with the ghe.com account so simply sign in with the github account here and i will be logging with my credentials over here and simply click on sign in you will get the verification code on your email just copy that code and paste it over here and it will verify this one so now you can enable the two-factor authentication or remind me later so click on continue here and it will authorize for the visual studio code click on this one and open visual studio code now you see that it's getting the copilot ready for us and now you see that once we have signed in successfully we will see this as copilot over here so it's just like a chart board so simply now what we need to do is that we need to write a prompt i have already written a prompt so let me show you just go to notepad over here and this prompt says basically generate a senior automation framework in python using the PyTest framework and the page of model design pattern automate the login functionality for the RNHRM demo uh, the test sh should include the following a page of model structure with the separate classes for the locators and the page interactions a login test that verifies the successful login using the valid credentials a test to validate login failure for invalid credentials a PyTest fixture to initialize and TA down the browser and command to execute the test suit with the report now let's copy this one go back here and simply paste this prompt over here and press enter but before that you see that we have chat gpt4 we have Claude 3.5 we have gemini so we have all these models available over here so let's go with the chat gpt4 this send and enter so it will determine everything now it is proposed a directory structure for senior automation framework generating a workspace so this is the workspace so selenium python pom the pages will be inside here base class so if you click on this one so you see that the code actually being written by the copilot so similarly for the login and here you will see the locators then inside the test we have this test and you see that it actually you know went through and scan the page and come up with the locators here as well then this is the login test and it created the login test as well with the assertions on it now we have utilities and config file then requirements.txe so simply click on create workspace select this as a parent folder and now you will see over here basically it will create the complete project structure for you with the code as well so it will take some time and click open and you see that uh trust the content the pages base class then we have login we have locators 
and we have tests inside this one we have contest.py then we have int this one and then we have utilities over here config.py so we have all the details in this particular framework now what we need to do is that basically we need to run this one so if i open this one uh, the github copilot and basically you will see that it says that copilot free usage is this percentage and there's some code completions or you, you will see some uh, details over here now once you go there just click on readme file and it actually created a very beautiful the readme file it has the information about this particular project okay then the project structure then set up instructions then install the required dependencies pip install this one then configure the test settings then running the test and this is how we can generate the html report right so what we need to do is that simply copy this from here and go to the terminal over here we need to go to the terminal so view and then terminal and here we just need to paste this one and press enter because we need to install all the things which are required like selenium and pytest so everything needs to be installed first and after that what we need to do is that we need to run this one so using the command so pytest test this one so this is the command so copy this one and paste it over here and press enter now it will execute now we are seeing some failures over here so it says some error so error is basically import this 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 make sure your modules have valid python names and this is so we can fix this um, things later on but the important thing is that we can develop the framework within seconds and obviously this is ai we need to make some modifications and we need to tweak the things as per our requirement it is not necessary that we will be getting everything over here now uh, let me write with the copilot and let me ask again how to run this project okay now it's, it's working for you and it will come up with the solution to run this project so refining the question to improve the search accuracy setting command and the setting index searching command so let's see so used one reference so it actually used this reference for this searched one and here you see that we have got these commands and instructions over here right so you can follow and you can you know talk to the co-pilot and come up with a solution exactly how to run and again this is ai which might not be accurate you need to use your knowledge but using the school pilot you can program faster you can automate faster you can develop the framework faster just like we did in this particular tutorial thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial